Well, it's been a while and I really do miss you guys. How's it going, guys? Toxic Nerfer here, and I apologize for the Christmas, the New Year's, and stuff. Again, trying to get Nerf Blasters nowadays is really, really expensive, and I think Nerf should reconsider, mostly Hasbro, should reconsider in lowering the prices of every single Nerf Blaster. I don't care how much stuff they put on these Nerf Blasters. Excess plastic is kind of useless, which is what we're going to talk about with some of these Nerf Blasters that I got. I only got two, because, uh, you know, me, low on cash, you know, I am not working or anything yet. But today we're going to be uh, looking at Nerf Blasters today, which has been a long time. So today we're going to be looking at the Zombie Strike Clampdown. This, uh, this pistol, um, it looks like an old style clamp. I mean, as you can see, like, it's got the... The ridge here, it's got the, uh, it's got the, uh, twisty part. It's hard for me to say what they are called, you know. I, I used to be in the, in the masonry business, and the carpentry business. Now I forgot what these, what the thing was. Nowadays, most clampdowns is mostly, like, triggers, like, squeezing it. But back in the old days, they used to do these knobs. Like, this used to be a knob for the, uh, the twist, so they can, like, uh, clamp this down, and this is another twist. But we'll get to what, what we got on this thing. So the blaster itself is a front loader. So it's basically a jolt. I mean, you could tell this is a jolt. I wish I had another jolt to show you, but I don't have a jolt on hand. But again, the simple is, you know, you put the dart in and then all you do is just prim pull this priming handle, which is the uh, the twist the twisty knob for the, uh, for the clamps. And all you do is just pull the trigger. Now... This has a rail, which is kind of ridiculous, um, but it, it's fun if you want to put any stupid attachments on it. Um, the one thing I want to warn you guys is that the barrel, like, for some of you who are going to be shooting this thing and you're like, how can I not aim my shots at this at this blaster? As you can tell by the barrel, it has a built-in angle to it. Now, when I'm setting this down, which you can kind of see here, I set it down on my hand here. <laughs> You can actually see that the barrel actually has a built-in angle, so it's a slightly up, so it can kind of angle its shots a little. So I'm actually gonna go. Uh, I'm actually gonna go grab some darts. Yes, I know that most people are already using, you know, like those waffle-headed uh, uh, Zuru darts or X-shot darts, but the only best ones I have are the are the Zombie Strike Elite darts. I know most of the Elite. Darts and another pause, excuse me. Um, I don't know how I'm misclicking it. I'm just dropping darts onto, onto a computer. But the blaster, yeah, I only have these elite darts on hand. I don't have the X-Shot ones. I don't even have an X-Shot blaster. But again, prime this back, and all you do, pull the trigger right here. So has a built-in angle to it. Like, I'm shooting... Like, if I want to shoot straight, I'm, you know, it's going to be off camera, so I'm just going to shoot straight. I mean, that's how straight I can get. I mean, let me do that again. That's more of a... It, the angles themselves are kind of crazy. Even shooting at the camera, I just skid. Because the darts are pretty much crazy. But it's got a little uh, sling mount right here next to the priming handle, which I put this little string on. So, I mean, that's basically it. My full opinion on this is it's a jolt. It comes with two darts. It's just a jolt. It's nothing special. A jolt with a built-in angle and having this much excess plastic. I think I remember this thing costing, like, less than the jolt. Um, but the best one, the best jolt, in my opinion, is the Triad EX3. It's because for the fact that you can actually have three barrels on your side with a smart AR system, and then just continuously just priming this. So, and plus it didn't need a funky rail. So, I mean, putting putting excess plastic on something is supposed to make make it feel special. This doesn't make it feel that special, in my opinion. The fact is, is that they, if they couldn't even make it possible to make it like a handle on a blaster, but you take that handle off the big blaster and then this could be the pistol and this bottom piece right here could be where the uh the catch can be on top kind of like how the original D defender t3 from the 90s used to do it of course it requires a lot of work to to put it but nerf is already making stuff goofy as you can see so they can do something with the zombie strike line so yeah 
but that's it. I mean, my full opinion. I mean, I mean, handle is not comfortable, especially for larger hands. As you can see, my hand. I mean, this is the access of the handle. Mine is this little bit here. This is the handle. Like, my pinky finger can just barely fit it, and I have regular hands. I don't have big, giant, monster hands. I have, like, regular human-sized hands. And not only that, some people might accidentally take this blow and then just go, boom, right there to somebody's face. This blaster can be a nightmare to do. A nightmare. Like, they could have just put soft piece of plastic. Or not soft piece of plastic, no. I mean, this is already soft piece, as you can see, it's bending. I mean, like foam. Like foam, so at least it, you could just hit someone with it, but not too hard. You know? I mean, this is... They're supposed to mimic a blaster made out of parts from some type of, like, tool. This is a tool. This is literally a clamp that you're supposed to clamp stuff with. I mean, literally, if I had to clamp something, like this Xbox 360 plug right here, I can't because it's not a real clamp. If they can actually make the clamp feature on these blasters, on this blaster, it could have been a really good gimmick. It could still work as an original clamp, you know, but it can also, um, you know, be even interesting. They could at least did something interesting with this blaster. It could require it to be a bit bigger, kind of like the uh, the nail biter, the nail breaker. I forgot the name of that blaster. Um, but it works like a clam. Like, you could twist this, and it has, like, 20 darts, like a 20-dart cylinder, so to speak, or, like, a muzzle-loading cylinder. You twist it, and this could be a knob where you... You turn the knob and you can actually do a single fire, or you could twist the knob again and do a full auto, or a big, a, excuse me, a big giant shotgun burst, kind of like the, kind of like the other blasters before it, like the, uh, the Mega Blitz, not from the Mega Line, there's no Mega Blitz in the Mega Line, but like the Blitz from the Air Jet Power Plus series, where it had a combustible air right here, you... You pump here, then all you do is just pull the trigger and it fires all five darts. Imagine that, with more darts, maybe three if you want, because you want it as a small package. It could have been possible. But only modders can do it, and they can only do is dream. And that's, 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 what, the dart, that's what the clampdown is. It's just a pocket pistol that I think barely even fits in my pockets. Let's try it with, with a dart in there. I mean, it kind of does. I mean, to pull it out takes a lot of work but that's the clamp down it's it's not a good blaster in my opinion i mean it looks great i love the kind of like design of it again these the warning labels and stuff get in the way like from here to here but i mean you could put this on your wall like this just hang it like this right here this could be a nice piece right here you could be like hey is that your clamp down i i say yeah but it's not a real clamp, you know, because because this thing is not a real clamp. It's it's a blaster that mimics that type of feature. I mean, I never seen a clamp with a red uh, piece before, uh, right here. I've seen old style clamps. I've seen new style clamps. So this is trying to mimic the old school style clamps. And I think for modders, it's it's simple as like how you mod a jolt, but you have to. Uh, you know, take these screws out and then take this, this green casing off. Um, and it's it's easy screws, like at least three. And and very simple three. Just pull this casing off. And the jolt's right here, you know. Take the, the way that they take these ARs out, I have no idea. And there should be another four screws on the bottom right here. Right here to pull the priming handle, the spring, and the plunger out. I mean, as you can see, the plunger's not that big. It's really not that big at all. It's kind of small. I mean, it's... I mean, the wideness of it. I mean, it's not as... I mean, it's not as small as the Scout Mark II. The Scout Mark II's plunger, as I look, as the... It's very a small plunger, but it packs more of a wallop. Um, well, this just doesn't. As my opinion is, you guys should definitely 
not get this blaster. If you want to get it for like a zombie-like guru that you that you, that you are, then it's fine with me. But for me, this is a blaster that nobody should get. Do I think it's worse than the ricochet? I don't think it's worse than the ricochet. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm putting an accent every time I say ricochet because we all know that, that zombie strike blaster was garbage. It didn't even perform like a vortex blaster. It was a disaster. And I have one in my possession. But it's, again, it's in New York. You saw my review of it. It was trash. Just like this blaster. But at least this blaster could go more ranges than, a, than, a, than, the, than this Vortex blaster. But that's my review. I hope you all enjoy. And uh, if, uh, if anybody wants to use this as, like, I don't know, a cosplay toy or something to be goofy as, like, as, like, the packaging is on, the, on these blasters because they're trying to be kid-friendly, then you could put that in the comments below. So, as always, guys, stay scary, and I'll see you next time. That angle. <laughs> see ya.